the history of the Burberry trench coat. Thomas Burberry, back in Hampshire, England, 1856, started the iconic Burberry label. Here's a fun fact. He was interested in weatherproofing fabrics, which then meant he invented gabardine in 1879. So gabardine was the actual fabric used in the original tight lock and coat, which was what the Burberry trench was called before it was called the Burberry trench. It was breathable, it was waterproof, and it was double-breasted, making it the must-have accessory for high-ranking explorers, travelers, and soldiers. And it must have also looked as fabulous as this trench does with transition. Ones. I love how you don't really know if I'm wearing anything other than a few baubles under here. But actually I am! A very transitional black legging outfit, which is perfect under the trench and the au courant loafer. So the actual Burberry trench coat was invented during World War I in the trenches. It had a high collar for wind and rain. It was double-breasted for extra warmth. It was waterproof. It also had some epaulettes so you can hang military gloves or the occasional grenade. Seeing as there aren't any more wars, but there are epaulettes. Do you think maybe we should get some use out of them? No, I don't think that's gonna work. Many modern day versions come with the Burberry checked lining, which was actually trademarked and invented in the 1920s. And a lot of the newer styles aren't just made out of gabardine. You'll see denim and leather inserts here and there for contrasting effects. And look how versatile. She looks fabulous with my Texas tuxedo. So here's a perfect example of why the Burberry trend coat is so fabulous. The practicality, the versatility, the quality. I mean, I'm just as happy with the Burberry trench coat as an evening wrap as I would be with an opera coat. I mean, really, the Burberry trench has become synonymous with British culture because of its heritage.